something very close to my heart. I find these things very hard to buy, actually. Shoes. Today, we are joined by Katie Reavy, who, after completing her Master's in Architecture, decided to take those skills into the world of footwear, and she hasn't looked back since. Hi, Katie. Hi, Mel. Now, architecture to footwear, well, that seems an obvious course, doesn't it? it... No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. For girls, it does, though. We all love shoes. Well, that's true. Mm. So you completed the Master's in Architecture, yes. but then you, you never actually practised it. No. So no. what happened? Well, I always have liked smaller product design and um, shoes seem obvious for a girl, as I've just said, and it just sort of came alive and there was a bit of a gap in the market, I think. Yeah. So the skills that you learnt during your architecture degree, you can actually cross those over to shoe design? Definitely. Um, the construction, the structure of shoes, uh, they're not like clothes, they're not draped, they do actually have to be firm fitting and yeah and have integrity nothing beats a comfortable and long wearing pair of gorgeous looking shoes exactly that is for sure <laughs> so how did you start out so you you obviously decided you wanted to make your own footwear line so how did you start a lot a lot of research which i think i was trained when i did my master's degree in how to research um, and then i yeah put together a business plan and developed a range. Away you went. Did you have yeah. to do any study to learn how to make shoes? I have actually done a bespoke shoemaking course um, where I've made shoes myself. So, yeah. So when you do your designs, because your designs are very classic, aren't they? They are. Um, classic but still modern. Um, I look at uh, straight lines and really contemporary forms. Got some there on screen right now, actually. Yeah. So quite geometric, I think. And I like to think that they are very architectural. They are beautiful shoes. You've got a pair on today which look absolutely <laughs> stunning as well. Gosh, they look lovely. I like those ones there. Yeah. <laughs> when you're designing them, do you design what you would like to wear? I definitely have that in mind, but I am always thinking of um, New Zealand women and we, we're well in the workforce and what you'd wear to work. Um, they're definitely dressy, but they don't have to be high heels. Do you have a muse? Like, is there a, a certain person that you envision wearing your shoes? Um, not specifically. I like to think that there's something in the range for everyone. Yeah. So your focus is on quality, obviously. So how yes. do you go about sourcing all the things to put to make shoes? It's a very traditional uh, shoemaking technique that we use with our ranges. Um, so they're all leather, uh, natural, high-grade leather with leather soles, which is quite uncommon to find these days. Yeah. How do you road test them? Because you obviously want something that is going to last well when it's when people are wearing it. What do you do to road test a shoe? Well, I get to wear a lot of them myself, which so does help. Literally them, I literally put them on. Yep, yep. But I mean, the good thing with leather shoes is that you know the material has such a history and it is traditional. And yeah, is so. it a hard industry to break into? Definitely. I think any small business or industry is, is going to be a tough road, but what's, yeah, worth what's, effort. What's the number one thing that you've learned so far? Um, sometimes naivety helps you because <laughs> it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's a tough thing, but yeah. soldier on? Yeah, soldier on. So, so when you're young, why not? <laughs> so what's next for you? Um, I would like to develop a classics range so you can come back each season and potentially buy the same boot in a new colour. Um, I guess it's kind of, there's, there's other brands that have done similar things overseas and yeah, and definitely exporting would be a next big Sounds step. fabulous. Yeah. And you've got your store of course on Ponsonby Road as well. Absolutely. Next stop, World Domination. Well it's been <laughs> lovely to have you and your shoes are absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. Katie, thank you so much for joining Thanks. us. Good luck with everything. Thank you.